Once again, good evening. Good morning. Guys, there are two demo sessions from our institute. And yesterday was the first demo. And today is the second demo. In yesterday's first demo, I explained first 20 minutes about introduction. Next 40 minutes, I explained data to fabric hierarchy. And today, first 10 minutes, I will explain the recap of the previous part and 40 minutes or 50 minutes practical part. Kindly stay tuned till the end of the session so that you will get clarity on the subject as well as practical, practical ease of operations. So two demo classes. I believe you all received yesterday's demo video and document. You all provided email ID, mobile number. They might have received one folder or drive access with the demo videos. Could you please confirm? Yes, we are receiving. This was a folder created yesterday. This was your folder. This is your folder. And in this folder, all the videos available. This is a first demo, first demo video and content. Coming to second demo, second demo video at two place, but content is already placed. Sir, can you please forward to me as well? Yesterday I missed the first demo. This is Kavita. No problem, Kavita. You will receive both the demo videos and documents. Okay, thank you. So everyone will receive both the demo videos and documents. Kindly provide your email ID and mobile number. Simply the drive access you get. And this is a checklist I'm going to cover in the next two months. This is a checklist. Right. Now we'll continue with the recap of first uh, recap of yesterday's session for 10 minutes. Kindly focus. But whatever we're discussing in these classes are very valuable classes and very important classes. very valuable and very important classes. So guys, Microsoft Fabric, Power BI we are discussing. So our demo is Fabric Power BI demo, classes also Fabric Power BI. Training details. My name is Vinay, and this is my contact number. And you can call me in these timings. And thank you so much. More than 20 people called me yesterday for their concerns, queries, sessions. Really good to see. Even I'm expecting from other people. Please do reach out for any kind of queries on this. And I'm working as a senior lead consultant and training that is basics to advanced. And duration 50 to 60 hours. Daily one hour is the class duration. And my one hour equal to two to three hours for your practice. Monday to Friday compulsory sessions. Monthly to Saturdays we are having classes. Training offline, online, both available. Training offline and online. Now, institute provides till 1.5 years access of the folder where you will get daily videos and the communication, WhatsApp, mail, and materials, theory, practical, FAQs, conducted, uh, FAQs provided, 
mock interview is conducted and there are databases. One is cube database, second one normal database and cube database knowledge one hour, normal database knowledge four hours I will provide you. But my recommendation learn database language SQL whole course wherever you want to learn even we do offer and nine topics are important prioritize it. Two near real time projects I'm providing and multiple case studies. This is what I'm providing. And training objective, as I told you, real-time working, it is suitable interviews you want to face. Uh, there is a certification, PL300. Some people joining for certification purpose. Your further also suitable. And you want to generate your own reports also suitable. So training object to this for. And general FAQs. Any graduate is eligible to learn and it's a fully graphical component. Less code. And you can use Power BI for report development. Or the report developer role. Or business intelligence developer role. Technical side. You can use Power BI data analyst side and business analyst side. Technical and functional side. Both techno-functional and data scientist and one of the component of Power BI you can use. Power BI, Python, ML, etc. we use in this area. These are the areas Power BI participate in the current market. Broad uses I explained. And after this I explain. Theory, practical, material, anyway I will provide you. Live class videos I will share. Fully practical under training starting from today. And resume preparation sessions conducted and good interaction with me. And WhatsApp group also created for your technical questions, concerns, etc. FAQs discussed. And you want to try as a Power BI developer less than five years. Five indicate less than five years. And this is the opportunity less than five years. And this is the opportunity 90% organizations offering. And this is as part of Power BI. And this is database knowledge. Power BI plus database knowledge. 90% companies recruiting. Yes, please. Sorry, you say less than five years. What is that given? My course is good enough for less than five years. And you can try these opportunities with less than five years. So the below opportunities available with below five years. So you can try as a support resource. You can try as an admin resource. In MSBA plus Power BI combination. MSBA Power BI plus Tableau. And Power BI plus Azure or Data Lake, Azure plus Data Lake. Power BI plus Synapse plus Databricks. So these are the opportunities available for less than five years experience. Sir, I want to keep more experience, senior roles. In that situation, Power BI Modeler, Power BI Designer, Power BI Specialist, Power BI Architect, these roles. But work experience of one or two projects compulsory required, that to end to end required, to try for these positions. Without working end to end, you cannot try for these positions. So these are all institute provides, and you can try. I explained very in detail yesterday. This is just recap only. And I'm going to cover next two months, project environment tools, concepts, like warehousing fundamental, modeling fundamental, agile methodology, GitHub versioning, and do projects and multiple case studies. Database knowledge, I will provide you three to four hours. I are recommend this, you to uh, learn whole course. Are these near real time projects are given by you or we need to identify our own project? No, no I will give you. Whatever I mentioned here, I'm giving. Okay. And tabular cube, MSBA tabular cube classes, I will give you for two hours. And the people who are preparing for job, 
for them resume preparation, FAQs, mock interviews, support provided. And come to Power BI subject. And you can, so you will learn cloud components. There are two components, on-premises components, three components, Power Apps and Power Automate. This knowledge also I'll give you. These are Power Platform components and I'm giving four hours of knowledge. This is what next two months you're going to get, which is suitable to work in the real time. So that was the introduction part I given yesterday. And then I explain data to fabric hierarchy understanding. It is just a recap of yesterday's part. Today's part, I will start in another five minutes. So data to fabric understanding I given. Because power be a part of fabric. And look at this. And first I explained about data. Anything you are able to store is called data. We have three types of data, structured data, semi-structured data, unstructured data, three types. And we have formats, data formats. Some people in the file format, some people in the database format they are keeping. Data storage areas, some people on-premises, some people cloud. So this is purely related to data I explained last class. And then IT applications. Many types available IT level, but important two types I explain. First one, business running applications. Here, uh, we will go for transactional operations. Business running application level, transactional process. Take an example, IRCTC ticket booking, book my show ticket booking. That information will go to a transactional database with messages or information like transaction success or failure, like this. See, general public, they will use different applications, different applications like web, mobile, desktop, generate forms. And the data goes to a storage called transaction storage. This is what I told you yesterday. Knowingly or unknowingly, daily we are using this. And then this data moved into BA process, business intelligence process, which we are going to implement today. And analytical storage we create first. Later, management suitable reports or dashboards generated. So this BA process implemented, reports or dashboards generated. And who, what type of information like this? The trains having highest booking, trains having lowest booking, etc. Then who will use it? Management team. Management team uses this kind of information. And this process and area is called analytical process area, OLAP, online analytical processing. So this is online transaction processing, analytical processing. The flow like this. I explained very in detail yesterday. Just refer to yesterday's video. And Power BI sits in this area. The general public, IRCTC, the data available here. Power BI will take the data. This is the one you focus. This data and create reports and dashboards. So this is the existence of Power BI. So between your business data to management suitable data, it will participate. And then I explain B applications, this layered process, and then MSBA. Azure BA pending, we'll discuss Power BA, Power BA concepts. And what is BA? 
what is the input and output of BA? Input for any BA tool is data. Output from any BA tool is report or dashboard. So what is report? Report talks about detailed understanding of data. Last class I told you, any BA application you take in the market, it will take data, generate report or dashboard. So a report talks about detailed data, more visuals and graphical components available, designed to explain an operation, individual operation. And we will see in an organization level multiple reports. Once again, first detailed data. Second, more visuals, broader visuals. Next, design to explain an operation or subject. So an operation in a subject area, simply individual operation. Next, more reports in the companies. It looks like this. This is a report, detailed data understanding, multiple visuals, more data. On the flip side dashboard, if you talk about high level presentation of data, not low level, and design for specific functionality data, like savings account uh, with the drag deposit, loan processing, all if you show in a single area, that is a dashboard area and single view. Last one, dashboards are always limited in the companies. Looks like this because high level data looks like this. So any business intelligence application takes data from anywhere, anytime, generate report or dashboard. But we have a process, BA process. Old BA, multiple tools, multiple setups, multiple resources, very complex and very costly. Middle age, coming to middle age, MSBA was introduced. And these are the versions available and this is from the Microsoft. And Microsoft is a leader for the last 16 years, I told you yesterday. It's a leader. Now modern BA, which is a power BA. Modern BA is Power BA, Click View, etc. So Middle Age BA, MS BA. So you are learning a modern BA component. No, I also explained yesterday. Why Power BI created when MSB already exists? See guys, MSB and drawbacks are Power BI advantages. I told many drawbacks of MSB and Power BI advantages also. One by one point I explained last class. And then finally I conclude what is Power BI. Adding more power to BI is Power BI. This is the first definition. Second definition. Power BI is a low code application, which is supporting cloud and on-premises operations. And self-service BI application, Power BI having low code, cloud and on-premises both support, self-service application, generate reports and dashboards from the data. Uh, simply adding more power to existing BI. And Power BA announced July 2013 after eight years of MSBA. After eight years of MSBA, Power BA announced. And every month we have an update. So what is monthly update? I told you yesterday. Why monthly update? So from this unit, remember, Power BA adding more power to existing BA. It's a low-code application, cloud and on-premises support application, and self-service application to generate reports and dashboards from data. July 3rd. 2013, it was introduced. Every month we have an update. And then I said, Power Platform is an inspired product from Power BA. Inspired product from Power BA with five tools. Power BA is the first low code tool. Power Apps is the second low code tool. Power Automate is the third low code tool. A virtual Agent is the other one. And Power Pages is the last one. This five components combinations Power Platform. And till 2019, sorry, from 2019, Power BA part of it. Now Microsoft Fabric. 
So this is a modern one. It is an artificial intelligence based suit with four components. These are four. Fabric containing four components, Power BI, Data Factory, Synapse, and Data Activator. And this fabric- Can it work on Mac? Uh, uh... Fabric is an AI-based solution with these four components. And specially designed for data engineers, fabric, data scientists, data analysts, and data citizen. And can it power... work on, can it work on the Mac, uh, uh, Mac product? Give me a minute. So data citizen, Power BI provides support. Data analyst, Power BI provides support and others. But these are the components of Fabric providing support in these areas. And yesterday, a few people asked me, sir, uh, if I want to learn additional component, what I need to learn? Along with Power BI, SQL Server compulsory and it's sufficient. This is good enough. Power BI plus SQL Server. But still you want to learn more, learn any of the component, data factory, synapse, these components. Because Fabric AI based solution, and next market leader. What clarity? So what is the best combination in case you want to go? Data factory, Azure data factory or synapse. So this is what last class I covered in detail. And today we go for fresh part. Before that, ask your questions if you have any questions. If anyone having any questions, kindly ask. Can it work on the Mac? Pardon? Can it work on the Mac? Which one? Uh, the i i uh, you know iPhone yeah uh, i uh, Mac uh, laptop. What you're talking about? I'm not getting. So this is a Microsoft project, right? The laptop. It will work on the laptop. But what about that configuration? Uh, I will tell you, sir. That configuration I will tell you. So it is. Yeah. It can work, right, Miss? It... We haven't reached it. When we are discussing about it, I will tell you. Okay. Right. So in case you have any questions in the covered part, you can ask me, sir. I'm about to explain that. Yes, madam. Which means will be also useful non-IT people, right? Yes, everyone. Right, you can learn. Right, sir. Now fresh part. I'm starting, and we focus. Very valuable content I'm giving, and I go slowly. And it is like a demo overview kind of stuff. So it's overview kind of stuff. So I maintain little speed. So kindly cooperate. Don't write anything online and offline paper. Please do not write. I will explain everything very clearly. Kindly focus. Right. First, I want to tell you types of reporting in IT industry. So non presented report. This is the first type of report. And in this report, multiple visuals available, data not divided into multiple pages. Very advanced reporting. And Power BI level, Power BI desktop does that operation. See, look at this. This is a non page report. Data not divided into pages. So if you sell 17, 17 data, 18, 18 data, and if you click on it, respect to data in all the areas, this is non paginated All of you clear? The word is new, but simply data not divided into pages. Your resume usually in multiple pages. And your textbook, multiple pages. But here, no pages. Second one, paginated report. Very old style of reporting. Legacy reporting. And here, data divided into multiple pages, and each page is printable. One small example, you have 200 records. Each page, 20 records needed, and 10 pages required. So you have 200 records in a table. Each page, 20 records needed, and 10 pages required. That is a page needed report. Example is this.
This is page head report. First page, second page, third page, fourth page. We can navigate. See one page, some records available, 10 records like this. And if you want to develop these kind of reports, we have a report builder, which is of Power BI or SSRS. non patient report, Power BI desktop, advanced reporting. Any questions from this from anyone? I told you Power BI helpful for you, even in your personal usage. So you want to develop a page by page data report or advanced report, both the places helpful. Uh, sir, I have a query. Yes, uh, madam. Uh, can we use this in MacBook? I mean, does it support for uh, MacBook as well? Power madam, no, we, we haven't reached that, madam. I will tell you everything. Okay. So we are talking about something different. Okay. We'll dive into it. Next. Power BI components. There are eight components and four concepts. These are the components. Coming to Microsoft side, there are eight components in Power BI with four concepts. So this is the first component, Power BI Desktop, which will develop a report. So it will take the data, this component, generate a report. But during the report generation, first concept, second concept, third concept, fourth concepts, four concepts we use. So these concepts help you to create a report and desktop is a component will do that. In case you want to place this in the cloud, not in your company, you want to allow people to the cloud to use it. And this is a component required second component. We'll place the report in the cloud and we share to other people. So customers will come to this and bring it. So the people who are all interested for a cloud, for report development, this component they use, and cloud level storage and managing this component use two components. 95% is people following this. And this desktop perform non paginated reporting, advanced reporting. That's why I told you the previous part. Sir, I'm not interested to keep my reports in the cloud. I want to have my own server. This is my own server. And I want to place the reports and provide access to the customers from the same. Then reports are desktop. There is something called reports are desktop. You install it. Third one, and this is a report server, install it. So this will develop the report, and this is a place we place and manage it. And this is also non-paginated. So cloud people go for this combination, and 95% people use this desktop and cloud, and 5% people using a report server like this reports or desktop and on-premises server. And a couple of people asking, we need it for legacy reporting, standard reporting, report builder. This is for paginated reports, fifth component. Some people ask Microsoft, I want to place Power BI reports easily in other areas. This is the sixth component, Power BI embedding. With the help of this, you can place Power BI report in social media, website, blog, Etc. And I don't feel comfortable with the visuals given here. Then go to Power BI developer to develop your own visuals. You can generate your own visuals, seventh component. Last one, you have data in your local system, but you want to move to cloud. See, this is a Hyderabad system, but you want to move to New York system. How do you move Hyderabad data to New York? We need a component called Gateway. Gateway will move from on-premises data to cloud. Gateway. So these are the eight components we have in Power BI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And today I'm going to give you a practice on this one. I will install this. I will practice this because this is the most important one which we use in the companies. And remaining, I will explain in detail in the regular class. As a trainer, I need to give you good information, so I'm giving. But in detail, slowly we see from regular in the regular classes. Yes, ask your question, madam.
Sir, Power BI desktop and default server is desktop of a different. Yeah, two different. Yeah, two different applications. So, if you use Power BI, you can only save it in the cloud. You cannot save it in the cloud. No, this desktop report will place here. This desktop report will place here. Cannot. You can so do it. But a couple of features incompatibility happens. Online people, any questions in this area? The eight components and four concepts, right? Now, this is what I'm going to explain. How to be a desktop. For example, you have data like this. You want to generate a non-paginated report like this or a report like this. This is my family expenses data during lockdown period, 20 June, July, 20, 20 year, and 19 year data available here. Yeah, how much money, for which reason, in which area, which location I spent clearly mentioned. I want to develop a report like this. So when I select year and month, respect to year and month, total money, average money, minimum money, maximum money. And in, in a particular period, my top spendings, least spendings. In a particular period, the locations I traveled and percentage money I spent. And what are the locations I traveled geographically I want to see. So this is called BA data, business intelligence data. And this is called transactional data, simply OLTP data. This is online transaction data. This is online analytical data. But how do you convert this to this? I told you we have a component called Power BI Desktop. It will do this. But how Power BI Desktop does? It will do end-to-end -end process. What is end-to-end -end process? The data, whatever we have, it will extract first step. If it is not in proper shape, transform. If it requires relationship modeling, if it requires security, yes, apply, finally visualization. So the Power BI Desktop will take the data and do this process and finally BA data created. Since this desktop is taking the data, transforming everything it is doing to perform it, it is called self-service BA. No need to depend on other applications. Everything we can do in the Power BI. So we call it as a self-service BA. So I'm going to explain this self-service B application and this practical. Everyone clear? Anyone wants to ask any questions? Geographical, I'm explaining everything. Now, how? Do, what is desktop? Everyone look at this. Please do not add anything, just listen to it. You will get the video. If required, watch the video and prepare your own running notes at home. Desktop. What is desktop? Uh, sorry, sir. You said the four, uh, eight components and four concepts. What is the four concepts, sir? Could you please explain me? Thank you. So, power query is the first concept. Power pivot is the next concept. Power view, power map. And these four concepts only I briefed it. In this area so in this area the four concepts come into the picture that we see uh, in detail discussion in the regular class for the time being the four concepts only perform this process our query our pivot our view our map anything else you want to know Thank you. Welcome, sir. You, you, if you want to see this, you can see this in detail. Uh, we will be getting this notes, right, Vinay? Hello? Am I audible? Uh, yes, yes. You are audible and I will provide these documents. Don't worry. I already provided. I will provide once again. 
So if you have data, answer to one, power query, extract and transform, these all operations. Answer to two, power pivot, these all operations. Answer to three, power view, these all operations, visible send all. And finally, the report is made and we'll move to either cloud service or server, customers come to cloud or on-premises and view the reports. This is an end-to-end -end process, powered by end-to-end -end process in the companies. But you feel very confused. That's the reason I'm not explaining this. And we'll go for power by desktop practice concentrate. What is desktop? The area where we perform operations graphically, Windows desktop, Power BI desktop, Tableau desktop, multiple desktops available, Windows graphical operations, Power BI graphical operations, Tableau reporting tool graphical operations, Power BI desktop, Power BI operations graphical area. So here, three words available. Power, adding more features to, so adding more features, BA, for the end-to-end -end process, a report generation process, more features added. Desktop, graphical operations area. Three words combinations powered by desktop. More features to the BA using graphical operations. That area is powered by desktop. Next, input to this desktop, any data, any format, any way. Output from the desktop, a document you will receive, desktop document. The document containing a report information, the document containing data information. That's why it is saved with PBIX. Or be a file saved with PBIX. What document saved with DOCX? Excel document saved with XLSX. Power BA document saved with PBIX. So this desktop will take data and generate a Power BI document where report and everything available. Requirements. Any questions till this part? Anyone? Right. Requirement. Uh, oh yes, Windows 10 or above is really good. It's a couple of Machine supporting Windows 8 and earlier as well. No RAM, minimum 2 GB, but 4 GB recommended. Processor, minimum 1.5 GHz, but 2 GHz recommended. Display orientation, 1900 by 1400. So this one with experience I'm telling, if you have a good resolution machine, 2K resolution, then you will enjoy the enjoy with the visuals. And this is a landscape or portrait, and I'll tell you in the regular class, and you focus only this part. OS, RAM, processor. Windows OS only supported. Mac does not support. Once again, Mac does not support. So what if I'm having Mac? Within Mac, install vm vm and within that windows and then go to power bi so this is the only one process we have but directly mac does not support i believe i address your question whoever asked yes sir right. then how do we download How to download Power BI Desktop? Two ways. First, Google it and download. Second way, sorry, Google it and download. Again, this is two ways. Normal download from the Microsoft Store using Power BI account. Advanced download, which will not require any account. So you will Google and download, but without account, with account. And you don't have any account, go for advanced download for now. Next, go to Power BI service and download. So one and two. 
go to cloud and download. And which one is recommended? The second one is recommended in the companies. But today I will tell you Google and two, this one today, but in real time, this is recommended. Everyone clear? I will do it now. Before downloading, first verify what type of system you are having. You can click on search or this PC properties. Search sysinfo or this PC properties. Right click properties. Here you will see what is the OS you are using. See, my installed RAM is 16 GB. My system type is 64 bit processor. i5, 1.3 GHz processor. 16 GB RAM, 64 bit machine. Windows 11 home page. Now I'll go to the software. Simply Google it. How to download the software I'm explaining? Listen to it. Our VA desktop download. Click on this download button. Microsoft Power BI desktop. So don't ask anyone, even in future also. If you want to download, just Google it and download. Read always the latest definition and options, whatever Microsoft given and system requirements, installation instructions. Everything follow from the Google. Don't ask anyone and click download. There are two softwares available. This is for 32 bit machine, 32 bit machine. And this is for 64 bit machine. And my system is 64 bit because in this PC properties we noticed. So download this, install it, click on it, download. Once it is downloaded, it looks like this. And go to the software, simply next, next finish. What is done, then automatically you will find an icon, shortcut icon on the desktop. This is all. And this is downloaded without account. No account you have downloaded. But if you have account, it's a little bit different. So without account, okay, fine. Let me click on this. The tool is available. I want to use this tool to develop a report. So this is the tool. Please look at this. This is the tool. Okay, before I go for tool, I will show you the input, input data. Go to this. This is my input data. Please see this and first one, some information, second one, some information, my daily expenses available here. It's an Excel sheet. Now Power BI desktop, you open it. I clicked on this desktop. See guys, when I click on it, it is showing home, new report, or you want to use these sources to generate a report, even other sources also. You want to open the report, 
what do you want to do? In case already you signed in, see this is sign in. You can sign out. In case this language you want to change, other settings you want to change, go to options and settings. Here is a place you change the settings. This is the first window. I will click on home and blank report. So this is a main interface. Some people say color blind friendly interface. Color blind people can work on. Even color blind people can work. And some people say self-service B application. So what it does, the four concepts, which I said, you can implement. If you have data, data extraction, data transformation, data modeling, it's a fixed process. First time when you listen to it, you may feel like, what is this? But daily we use the same technology you feel for after two days. So first, second, third, Four, fifth, five areas. And the first one you want to do, this is the area we do. Second one you want to do transformation, this is the area. Very close, third area. Fourth area. Fifth area. Five areas. No, five areas. One, two, three. And this is quick saving. This is quick saving. Undo and redo available, and it's the title of the application. And this is account and minimize, maximize, closing. Just listen to it, guys. Don't do any practice. Since it's a demo, I meant a little speed to explain this part. Regular class, we go slowly. Next. And whatever you are able to see here is called menu ribbon. Menu tabs. And right now, home is underlined. Home options available. This is called a home ribbon. Menu tabs, home ribbon. And this is called as a report view. In this area, visuals you take, data you take. And this is the area, tables you see table view and in this area relationships relationship view recently given DAX editor and this is called filter pane filter options visualization pane visuals And this is called data pane, the most important one. Data pane. Some people say data set pane. And which has queries. That can also be called table. Which has fields. That can also be called columns. And some other as well. Data area. And this is called report canvas. Here we develop the report. So first we set the width and we set the height. Go for the report development. And we decide which what type of desktop kind of development, desktop suitable or mobile suitable, what type of development. You can click plus to create multiple pages. 
in case savings account deposit one report one page withdraw one page loan processing one page you can place so these are the different options and i will explain 45 minutes the same thing in the regular class on monday but we don't have that much of time i just brief what exactly it has now important practice i will show you so my intention is this as we have data first extraction i want to do and then transformation modeling security visualization finally ba data generated and this first step standard process if you want to construct a house foundation pillar roof side wall however we construct the same way first one data extraction shaping relationship security visualization and this is the first area one this is the second area two and this is the third area and this is the fourth area security and this is the fifth area these are five areas and this is compulsory one compulsory in the real time this is mandatory five compulsory mandatory mandatory data visualization if required we go to shape if required we go to relationship security also based on situation but one and five compulsory these three based on the situation always every report we create in power bi in in this process one to five process first i have data i want to bring it so guys this is the area you go click on it excel workbook because my data is excel or any other source you want to connect just go here and connect more sources you want to connect click more but simple excel excel but in the regular class cubes databases cloud many things i'm going to explain in the regular classes but here just i'm clicking excel i will come to my excel data this is my excel data click open family expenses it is having only one worksheet selected click load so select it click load now it will be loaded and guys who all just joined kindly provide your email id and mobile number in the chat room so that demo video and demo document you will receive both the demos two demos documents two demos videos you will receive if you provide your email id and mobile number all these documents you will receive the session runs till 6:20 pm sharp i will close the session 6:20 pm now i'll go to this first step is completed you will get this data like this it auto expanded and you will see you can expand here and see some data available but you want to see this data then go to table view in the left hand side it is a table of you see this this data if you want to see see this by going to this something is not correct it's not in proper shape proper shape means not in column by column it's not in column by column we need to remove this first step because some normal information second step you need to make it as header second step then column by column available third step area location available with app to iphones but if you split this then area you can analyze column you can analyze third step 
So if you want to make this data in a proper shape, first one, remove this. Second one, make this as column heading. Third one, split the data. Three operations, you do it. And this is called data changes. Some people also call it as data transforms. And for this, you must go to, to second option. Data change or transformation required. So click on the second one. But go here, report view. Click on this, transform data. So it'll open a separate window now. Only one time it'll open window, transformation time. This is a window. And full transformation is available. I will... So there are the transformations. Even if you right click also, you have transformations. Many available. And whatever you want to do, data changes, do it. And then go to home. Here, options available. Close means simply close it. Apply means save the changes. And close and apply. Save the changes and close. Save the changes and close. No save option. Because confirmations. So either applying the transformation or close and apply the transformation. I simply go for the changes first. So this is the one. I want to remove the first one. Just remove it and make this as header. So then click on this corner, this corner. There's an option called remove top row. Mention here one. Number of rows removed one. Okay. Top row removed. See. One row remove, and here you are able to see the step. I want to make this as column heading. Click on it, use first row as header. Two steps are implemented, now it is looking good. Once again, I'm canceling right hand side the steps. So click on it, remove top record, first record remove. Make this as column heading. Click on it, use first row as header. No, go to this. And the area location, I want to split with two events. So right click, split column. Right click, split column by delimiter. Mention here, custom, two events. So this is a one important, two events base you want to split, okay. And I will double click here. Area. Double click here. Location. Area. So whatever the data changes I want to make, I made it. Just go to close, close and apply. Ready once again. Yes, sir. So in that you mentioned that two demulator, right? See, in real time, maybe a few cases one, one and a few cases were two. So how do we divide that two columns? First of all, delimiter only one you get in the real time. Unless you manually type, you will not get multiple separators in any file. So maybe a few cases was one. That's what I'm telling you, sir. Mm -hmm. When you combine the data of multiple tables, or when two different tables data you're combining, those kind of yeah. situations you find multiple delimiters. Otherwise, when you get the data, always you get single delimiter only. Okay. If multiple available, the data only maybe some commas and bars is there. That's what okay. I'm telling you, sir. In case you have multiple delimiters, the process is different. Okay. The process is different. But this is to split the data based on a single delimiter. <laughs> How to change that? We will discuss, sir. Okay. Let me complete this and then I will address your question. It's a lengthy discussion. I will address. Right. So I successfully completed. Once again, click on this. Transform your data. Whatever the changes you want to make, go here and make it. Finally, close and apply. Successfully done. Now it is in proper shape. How do you check? Always go to table view. So table view level, table data, you can see one, two, three, four. 
got clarity? Proper column by column available. So first step extraction, second step transformation completed. Third one modeling. Go to this modeling area. Only one table. What type of relationship you establish? You cannot establish any relationships. Single table. You cannot establish any relationships. So three not required. Four, security. Uh, we don't have any information related to security. Our security not required. So four is not required. So three and four not required. Only the one five required. This is a fifth one. Visualization. So one, two, and five. These three required for the situation. Now I will explain the fifth one, kindly focus. All right? All right. So what I want to talk, what I want to create. This is a report I want to create. Kindly focus. Don't look at your mobile phones, tabs, etc. Then only you understand. Otherwise, you lose your attention. So this is what I want to develop. First one, sum of amount required. Average of amount required. Maximum, minimum. These four required. So these are single value display components. And we have a visual called card visual. A single value. It's a year slicer. It's a slicer with year value. What is slicer? Manual visual filter. Slicer is a manual visual filter. And one more slicer. So the visual is slicer visual. Manual visual is a filter. I need comparisons like this. So bar chart required. I need percentages. Each location, how, how many, or how much percentage of money I spent, each location. So it's a pie chart. <laughs> What are the locations I traveled I want to show? Map visible, this is map. So I'm going to explain now, card visible to show this, slices to manually filter, bar for comparing, and percentages through pie chart, and mapping to display mapping information. Shall I? Now I will go to this. Keep your focus, it's very easy part, and you know to implement this example today. I'll give you very clear documents. See, this is your 5 p.m. second demo and the practice document also I'm providing. It's a practice document. Use this document. It's a practice file. Document and file available, practice today. Before you join on Monday, practice by using the document and file. At first, take a card visible. So this is a visualization pin, card visible. Take field. Every visual has two sections, one and two. This is called field area, data area, data. Second one, format area. Here, the colors, fonts, etc. will take. So this is a field area. We'll take the fields, every visual, and colors, fonts, and all by using format area. I will click on this fields area. I'll take amount here, sum of amount. First, click on this fields area, drag and drop. One second, I will do. Click on card visual, average I want, amount you place here, but sum is coming. I don't want this minimum. Sum is coming. I want average. Click on this drop down. Mention average. I want a maximum. Take a card visible. Drag and drop some here. Maximum. Click on this. See already existing calculations available. You can use it. Next, click on card visible. Amount you place. Click on minimum you mention. 
easy or complex? Very easy. Just take the visual, place the color. Now I want to format. Go to this color, font, etc. required. So go to format area. Data area, format area. And this is call out value. And this is category label for the card visible. So this you want to format, go to call out value. Bold I'm taking, T size I'm taking, blue color I'm taking, display, none I'm taking, none means normal value. Now, category label, bold, and I will take some pink color, I'll take here some 15 size or 18 size. Bold 16 color, that's it. And I want background for this. Go to general area, general area, and you can go to effects, visual border. Ready. I minimize it. But the same format I required to this. Then go to home, format painter. Same thing you want to place in other visuals. Home, format, painter, click on it, click on it. This format you want to copy here. Go to this, format, painter, and place. This format you want to copy here. Go to this, format, painter, and place here. Some maximum, minimum, average. Take your wish. You cannot take. So this is the one. Total, total amount, total uh, average, and maximum in the all values, minimum in the all values. Complete data. But I want a particular year and month. Then go to slicer visible. This is slicer. This visible. Click on it. Here you want to take, just go to date table, date hierarchy, year. This year you drag and drop in the fields area. I told you every visual two sections, fields and format. Field, year. Ready. But I want to change the format of it. Click on this, format, slicer setting. This setting you want to change. Click on this. And style level, I want vertical list. Then listing formatted view for the customer. Time button formatted view for the customer. Drop down, it will show you a drop down. So drop down view for the customer. So whatever the way customer interested, the same way you provide it. And now I'm taking here type list format. So in the list format, the visual interaction provided to the customer. Slicer setting list. Now go to slicer header. This is a header. I'll go here, bold 20. And I will give a color here. And value bold. I'll take a color bold. And size 16. I'll go here. Zendal FX visual photo. Now I want to copy paste because month also required. Control C, Control V. Control C, Control V. I want month here. So only data you want to change, format same. Only data you want to change, format same. So go to field area, remove the year, take the month here. Month. For clarity, there are many months available. Many months. But I want only two months. Then go to filter. This filter to take only required one here. So go to months. So filter on the visible. In this visual, I want filter. In this visual, I want filter. And I want July and August. So mention July, mention August. Yeah. So if you want to take required information or you want to filter, this is the one helpful. And if you select 19, 19 total, maximum, minimum, average. 19 August, 19 August, total, maximum, minimum, average. You want to press control and select July, 19 July and August values. 
want to clear the selection, there is something called clear selection, something called clear selection. Easy, right? No coding, nothing. Only one time if you practice, yeah, you remember forever. When you take average of a mode, that is the average of any one particular day. Yeah, the period you selected average. That's what, July, August, together. Yeah, whatever you selected. If two selected, two selected average. One. one. Now, I want to verify the reason. What are the top reasons I spent money? What are the bottom reasons I spent money? Then go to bar chart. Click bar chart. This is the one. Are you see? I, I highlighted and clicked on it. So it is changed. Undo. You can do undo. Go to empty area. Click on this. It's a chart visual asking me why axis, what do you want to take? This is y axis. I want to take e, uh, I want to take a reason. X axis, what do you want to take? This is x axis. I want to take amount. Why, sir? Like this. I, I feel comfortable. And you can take here reason and you can take here amount, no problem. Output will not change, only look and feel will change. What will change? Look and feel. I want a y axis level uh, reason. So place reason here and x axis level amount, drag and drop amount here. So two sections one is data area, format area. Data area y axis, x axis. I'll maximize it. But still, if you feel the font style, uh, sorry, it is small, focus mode available. It's a small region to see, then focus mode. Only the visual expanded mode. So food and food travel internet highest spending and petrol books and entertainment lowest spending. And if you click cursor here, it will show you tooltip. That is called tooltip. Reason food amount, travel amount, internet amount, entertainment amount, books amount, petrol amount. Top spending, bottom spending. I just go. I want a border, go to general format. General effect visual border on same option every time I'm taking. If you see this, you're confused, but when you practice one or two times, you remember. Next, I want to identify this location, each location, how much percentage money I spent. Then take pie chart. This is a pie chart. Click on pie chart. Legend, legend level, you take location. Value level, you take amount, location amount. It will show you percentages. Expand, bigger, see now. Percentage. Hyderabad location, 40% money is spent. And Vizivada location, 15% money is spent. And Vishakhapatnam, 39%. And blank, blank locations available, some value, Siddhi paid and different. And routine part, I want background, go to this general. Effects border on. I want to see graphically or geographically the locations and take a map visual. It's a map visual. Click map visual. Location level, you take location. Bubble size level, bubble size level, you take amount. So two settings location level, location. Bubble size level, amount. Expand bigger, you can see. So here more spending, bigger bubble. Here least spending and lowest spending, small bubble. Small bubble, medium bubble. All of you okay? Now go back and you can go general effects visual board. Right. Now if you select 19, 19 locations, 19 
locations percentage 19 spending 19 july 19 july you see the information changing 20 20 locations are changed 20 spendings are changed 20 this is highest with your order 20 and lowest is this sit the page and 20 uh with your order 40 percent spending yeah just value are able to see what your percentage you are able to see 20 top spending travel and something 20 is only like this guys you will create a very interactive report and not only this power be a beauty in this when you click on this when you click on this remaining areas also highlighted when you click on this remaining areas also highlighted this is called cross filtering cross highlighting what do you call it cross filtering cross highlighting so no need to use this even you can click on visual items to see other visuals data change so this is how we will create wonderful non paginated reports we, we don't have data in multiple pages so non paginated reports and if you want to save it go to file menu save i'm saving it when i take demo report And what is the extension it is showing? File menu, save as. What is the extension? PBX. So Word document, DOCX, Excel document, XLSX, Power BI document, PBX. But customer does not require this information. This extracted part, transformation part, modeling part does not require. He require only this area. How do you share only this area to customers? Then move to cloud and share only this. Move to report server, that is your server box, share. So compulsory that document should go to cloud or server to share, then only, only this information you can share to customer. That we will see in the regular class. Able to understand? So it's a document, it is having everything. Only this area you want to share, then do like that move to server or service then customers can access i will close this and i will go to go to the area where we saved it and then we will stop conclude and stop see guys this is a demo report today i created what exactly the title is power be a desktop document not a report due to lack of knowledge people say like report but it's not a report it's a desktop document so in that one a small doubt okay right sir ask see if we we save the pbix file okay that file we have to send to some other person in that person this power bi was not installed so this report is open or not? This PBX file will not open in case okay. you share to other people. That's the reason I told you cloud or report server we place and then share. Then no need of any Power BI desktop or any software. Got, got clarity? Yes. And also, this, uh, earlier we create the map now. So that required uh, for... Give, uh, me, sir, give me two minutes. I will wind up. And then I'll let us your questions. So this is how we will prepare it. Now coming to the conclusion. And I plan for two demo classes. First demo introduction and beautiful information I given. Data to fabric. Second recap and practical. And today's practical you implement at home. Downloading, installing. Practice everything I given with materials. Kindly work on it first. Because you have 48 hours time, work on it, then continue with the sessions. As I told you, the sessions are very detailed sessions from the basics. Sixty hours is a duration, daily training for one hour. Monday to Friday compulsory, monthly to Saturdays, we have classes. 
and in short daily we provide video wonderful communication material theory practical faq is provided mock interviews conducted sql session 4 to 5 hours conducted but learn whole course and prioritize nine topics multiple case studies and two projects in case you want to work in the real time or you are preparing for interviews certification you want to generate your own reports for all the purposes my course is highly helpful my case studies my projects will give more knowledge really good knowledge any graduate is eligible to learn it's a fully graphical user component my full screen not coming what about software like are these this like uh, free software or it's a paid license yes, software free, software. free software sir i downloaded i install in front of you it's a free software so everything is free for like okay no but in the real time when you want to share your reports that time license is compulsory till that part it's not required for preparing no license but if you want to share license is compulsory uh, so in short provide services give me sir give me two minutes training objective for real time working people interview support <clears throat> they had examination support and people want to generate their own reports possible multiple purposes and any graduate is eligible and low code component and with this power bi you can try as a technical resource and you can try as a te techno functional resource and you can try in data science as well multiple roles power bi play and coming to technical below 5 years opportunities and above 5 years opportunities both i covered in technical side below 5 years above 5 years and what type of content i'm going to cover next two months also i said this below 5 years above 5 years just refer to the video you will get complete knowledge at the beginning i explained so this is a part i'm going to cover next two months project related stuff power bi stuff sir i want to see low level then go to your videos area in this drive access there is a content available here checklist click on it all topics what all i am going to cover and when you go to individual session for example power bi service service level what i am going to cover power query level what i am going to cover data modeling level what i am going to cover visuals level what i am going to cover everything very clearly available so this is a low level content you guys can go through So you will be sending this reports also, right? Yes, everything I placed already. Okay, this link is shared. What? Right? Yes. yes, yes, yes. Kindly provide your email address. You will get everything. Yeah, already provided. So this is the low level content you can go through. So, so whatever the knowledge, information, depth of subject required to work and survive in the company, so I will provide you only Hello. one. Give me, sir, one minute. Only one thing you require, patience to attend all the sessions. But to near real-time projects, case studies, this will give more understanding. For every batch, I will cover properly this subject. Hello. Hi, sir. This is Sadiq. One second, Sadiq. So the people who don't have doubts, they can drop off. So available batches. These are the batches available. And 5 p.m. is a batch. I'm starting from Monday. 5 to 6 p.m. From Monday. 5 to 6 p.m. This is a slot currently. 
free. 5 to 6 p.m. I'm starting from Monday. Sharp 5, 5, 5 will start. 6 or 6, 5, it will close. I have a question okay. really specific to my requirement. Can I ask you a post session? Yes, sir. I will tell you. Okay. And this is my contact number. If anyone wants to talk to me, note on this number. Or else I will provide you in the chat room. Kindly note down. Ask all your questions. Hi, sir. This is Sadiq. Sadiq, please wait. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Hello? Sadiq, please wait. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Guys, who will not provide email ID and mobile number? Kindly provide your email ID and mobile number in the chat room. And I also provided my contact number. So call me on this number for your questions, concerns, personal discussions, etc. Right, sir.